Hello, this is Wampire. Um, this Sunday, uh, I was talking to a Kali instructor via uh, video chat, and one of the things that we talked about was the knife. And uh, they, they told me that their preferred grip was the reverse grip, or also known as ice pick grip. And, and I think this is a popular grip for knife. A lot of people like this grip. But I also noticed that a lot of people, even though they like it, they're also very, very awkward using this grip, you know. So what I like to do for today's video is to show you some ways to um, become less awkward, become more and more comfortable and familiar with, with this grip, with the reverse grip. Okay, so um, the idea is you need repetitions, period. There's, there's no two ways around it, you know. Like if you're going to be a good wrestler you need mat time you need to spar you you need to do that you know it's it's just the way it is so uh same thing with this you need repetitions but the name of the game is how can we do the same techniques the same uh combos you know the same movements right the same forms how can we do all of that in as many different ways as possible to keep things fresh, new and exciting, because if it's not fun, you're not gonna do it. That's that's just the bottom line. So, of course, you know, you train with the right hand and then you can switch to the left hand, that's challenging, okay? So that's gonna make things uh, a little bit more exciting. And for you to go from right hand to left hand, uh, you're gonna have to teach. The right hand needs to teach the left. And because you're forcing yourself to teach, Teaching makes you better, you know, it makes you more technical. So that's that's the bottom line. Now another thing is Common the most common grip is probably this one right here where you have one fist sticking out Okay, so one one fist full sticking out I call this the tail grip because you have a little tail and this is used for striking for hooking to move the arm out of the way and trapping which is you pin their arm okay, so so this has multiple uh, usage right here. So we use the tail to our advantage. Another very, very common and popular grip is to hold it all the way at the very bottom right here. And when you do that, as you can imagine, the leverage is more now, so you get more power, okay? You get a lot more power. So the idea is the same as the nunchucks, okay? The lower you go, the more power you have. The higher you go or closer to the middle, the middle of the stick, the more control you have. So this is just like uh, nunchaku, uh, also the same with like uh, the baton twirling stuff, okay? That's why they hold it in the middle because it has the most control, okay? So uh, once again, tail grip, power grip, and then, so you, so you could do all your forms those two different ways. Let me add a third one, okay? The third one is to actually hold it one, two, one and two grips longer. So it's, it's much longer than the tail grip that, that I mentioned earlier. So I call this the knife grip. Essentially, what you're doing here is you're imagining this, this uh, huge leftover part right here as a knife, okay? So while you're doing your normal stick stuff right here, you have to keep this in check. You have to keep this in mind so that when you're, when you're doing whatever technique, you know, you don't want to be scraping on your on your own hand or, or bumping with your other weapon or accidentally stabbing yourself or you know hopefully not clocking yourself that way. But yeah, you imagine this is a blade, so you have to control this end as well as this end. So it, it does make things more challenging because you're developing stick skills and knife in the reverse grip simultaneously. So uh, that's why sometimes I like to hold it way out like this because I'm thinking knife in the reverse grip. So as I'm doing this stuff, I'm thinking about, you know, using the knife in the reverse grip. So that's a third way. So in other words, if you know five forms, you're going to be doing the form already in three different grips, you know, so this one, the tail grip, power grip, and then knife grip. So you're doing your five forms three different ways, and then you could also do it with your left hand. So that's another three different ways. So 
just that alone, you're already getting uh, six different ways to do, you know, your five forms. So, you know, that, once again, that is the name of the game. How many different ways can you figure out? And then another one uh, I've mentioned before is to imagine, you know, A, your stick is an impact weapon. So you go ahead and imagine that it's just like a giant club. You know, so all your techniques, you're doing it like an impact weapon. Number two is to imagine that this is a bladed weapon. So now, you know, you're thinking about actually slashing and slicing and dicing. Okay, so now you're thinking about the, the blade edge. And then number three is a flexible weapon. So now you imagine that this could be a, a, an improvised weapon, like a belt, or you can imagine it's a chain, some kind of chain weapon. It's a flexible weapon. It could be a nunchuck. Whatever. So now the way that you're going to do the exact same forms now is a little bit more different. Uh, and then uh, the next category is projectile weapons. So now you're thinking about actually throwing the weapon. So even if the form is like one, two, three, four, and five, you can throw this in all of those angles. So number one, you're, you're going to throw it this way diagonally. And then number two would be, you're, th you're actually throwing it, you're launching it this way. Number three is you're throwing it sideways. Number four is sideways this way, like a backhand. Uh, and then number five is the stab, so you're actually going to be throwing the stick, like so. So, you know, that's, that's the projectile version. So, anyway, uh, that's it for now. Thank you for watching, and take care, folks.